chapter 33. This is the itinerary the Israelites followed as they marched out of Egypt under the leadership of Moses and Aaron. At the Lord's direction, Moses kept a written record of their progress. These are the stages of their march identified by the different places they stopped along the way. They set out from the city of Ramses on the morning after the first Passover celebration in early spring. The people of Israel left defiantly in full view of all the Egyptians. Meanwhile, the Egyptians were burying all their firstborn sons, whom the Lord had killed the night before. The Lord had defeated the gods of Egypt that night with great acts of judgment. After leaving Ramses, the Israelites set up camp at Succoth. Then they left Succoth and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. They left Etham and turned back toward pi Haharoth, opposite baal Sephon, and camped near Migdol. They left pi Haharoth and crossed the Red Sea into the wilderness beyond. Then they traveled for three days into the Etham wilderness and camped at Mara. They left Mara and camped at Elim, where there are twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees. They left Elam and camped beside the Red Sea. They left the Red Sea and camped in the Sin Desert. They left the Sin Desert and camped at Dovka. They left Dovka and camped at Alush. They left Alush and camped at Rephidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. They left Rephidim and camped in the wilderness of Sinai. They left the wilderness of Sinai and camped at Kibroth Hata'ava. They left Kibroth Hata'ava and camped at Hazaroth. They left Hazaroth and camped at Rithma. They left Rithma and camped at Rimon Pires. They left Rimon Pires and camped at Libna. They left Libna and camped at Risa. They left Risa and camped at Kehelatha. They left Kehelatha and camped at Mount Shefer. They left Mount Shefer and camped at Harada. They left Harada and camped at Makeloth. They left Makeloth and camped at Tachath. They left Tachath and camped at Tira. They left Tira and camped at Mithka. They left Mithka and camped at Hashmona. They left Hashmona and camped at Moseroth. They left Moseroth and camped at Beneja Akan. They left Beneja Akan and camped at Hor Hagid Gad. They left Hor Hagid Gad and camped at Jotbatha. They left Jotbatha and camped at Abrona. They left Abrona and camped at Ezion Giver. They left Ezion Giver and camped at Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. They left Kadesh and camped at Mount Hor at the border of Edom. While they were at the foot of Mount Hor, Aaron the priest was directed by the Lord to go up the mountain, and there he died. This happened on a day in midsummer during the fortieth year after Israel's departure from Egypt. Aaron was 123 years old when he died there on Mount Hor. It was then that the Canaanite king of Erad, who lived in the Negev in the land of Canaan, heard that the people of Israel were approaching his land. Meanwhile, the Israelites left Mount Hor and camped at Zalmona. Then they left Zalmona and camped at Punon. They left Punon and camped at Oboth. They left Oboth and camped at Aye Abarim on the border of Moab. They left Aye Abarim and camped at Dibon Gad. They left Dibon Gad and camped at Almon Diblathaim. They left Almon Diblathaim and camped in the mountains east of the river near Mount Nebo. They left the mountains east of the river and camped on the plains of Moab beside the Jordan River across from Jericho. Along the Jordan River they camped from Beth Jeshemoth as far as Abel Shittim on the plains of Moab. While they were camped near the Jordan River on the plains of Moab opposite Jericho, the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and tell them, When you cross the Jordan River into the land of Canaan, you must drive out all the people living there. You must destroy all their carved and molten images and demolish all their pagan shrines. Take possession of the land and settle in it, because I have given it to you to occupy. You must distribute the land among the clans by sacred lot and in proportion to their size. A larger inheritance of land will be allotted to each of the larger clans, and a smaller inheritance will be allotted to each of the smaller clans. The decision of the sacred lot is final. In this way, the land will be divided among your ancestral tribes. But if you fail to drive out the people who live in the land, those who remain will be like splinters in your eyes and thorns in your sides. They will harass you in the land where you live. And I will do to you what I had planned to do to them.